Hey people, so I have actually made something in real life this time. I'm not used to recording this camera. I've made a spot welder. Uh, and those who know may be able to see that it's inspired by one from Grant Thompson's video. He made it a while back. It is made using uh, mostly scrap with some wooden plates, um, plywood, and uh, a micro oven transformer. Now we've got the micro oven transformer in here with two turns. Focus, there we go. Back we have an outlet with a resettable switch. No, not switch, uh, fuse, there we go. And a switch for mains. And we've got two wires there. Goes out to a switch here for operation. Also from the microwave where I put it inside a wooden block I carved out. Well, cut out. Um, and yeah. The wiring is not welding wire, it is uh, 10 or 11 strands of normal electrical cable like you would have in your walls because I couldn't get my hands on a welding cable without buying new ones and they're freaking expensive. Anyhow, um, electrodes. electrodes are made from copper. I took apart a CPU cooler, and, well a few of them actually, cut up the copper and put it in a lathe and made these little beauties. There we go. Um, and the rest is just a steel rod and a plate welded together with a hole in it and put some screws in to hold them on and yeah that's about it so yeah I think that's uh, that's basically the explanation here uh, oh yeah it's green it's very green there we go my girlfriend thought it looked like a crocodile when I was standing so she decided that it had to be painted like one as well as you can see she did um Yup. Um, yeah, that'd be the size. And personally, I don't really care much how what color it is, so it's all good as long as she's happy. Okay, and it's not in focus. I can't see the screen on my camera is rather small. I should perhaps plug this up to the computer, but I don't have the software. And this is on my laptop, and my girlfriend has my laptop. Anyhow, as you may know, a spot welder welds stuff together um, in spots. Instead of doing a long welding scene, you will weld a single spot and you can do that multiple times to add structural integrity. But it's generally for well, weak stuff. Anyhow, here goes. I did turn it on, yes I did. And this is not going well because I think it has too many contact points. Yeah. So yeah, we got a spot there. Um, there we go, that's a good connection. It sometimes uh, helps to wiggle it a bit around. I think it's because uh, the strips of steel I have here, they are rather um, twisted. So there we go. Three nice little welds. Um, so yeah, that is uh, that's basically it. I need to improve the electrodes a bit. They got a bit too thin, and the end I think, um, or the copper is just crap because they oxidize really fast, and then I get a crappy connection because I only got that point. Um, but yeah. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions regarding this video or my videos in general, feel free to ask in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer help. Thank you for watching and bye.